All right, here it is, your golfing buddy, Bobby Lopez. And let's take a look at Miguel Jimenez, who unfortunately finished second right behind Gene. And um, it's a shame you can't take the trophy and just cut it in two because you've got two of the nicest guys out there playing against each other. I'll tell you something about Miguel Jimenez you probably don't know. Got a call from one of my buddy pros in Spain, Mario Fernandez, and he told me about how it was very congratulatory about Gene winning. You couldn't meet a nicer bunch of guys than these Spanish players, I'm telling you, for the most part. And uh, he told me that uh, in the Spanish Open in Madrid, that a $24,000 check was coming to Miguel, and he refused the check and told him to take the check and use it for lunch for the pros for the entire tournament, that he'd pick up the tab. That's the kind of guy Miguel Jimenez is. Great guy. Only one problem. His shoes. <laughs> I gave crap about his shoes in Philadelphia. And I can't wait to see him again because I got a pair of shoes like those and I'm going to wear them. <laughs> wait till you see it. My shoes look like Al Capone. I'm going to put them on and I'm going to wear them. But it was just kidding. Got to have some fun. You know, we got a kid around some. But Miguel is a great guy. Great, great guy. I disagree with this, Miguel. He's got a backswing like, um, let me see, who overturns like that that much? I mean, that's, you think your shoes are para un viejo for an old guy. Your shoes are for an old guy. This backswing's for an old guy. <laughs> this giant pivot. I mean, that was gone in the 50s. But he recovers nicely. See, he sits down, clears his left hip beautifully. Boom, 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 boom. See, from here, if he just stopped there, he's got it. That's plenty. More than plenty. Nope, he's got to reach back and grab some more out of the bag. And I think that is an element of risk. Doesn't mean something's going to go wrong. But let's look at it from the downline view. Doesn't mean something. Gonna, and I'm sure he's aware of this. I mean, we're not telling him anything he doesn't know. Uh, where did he go? Here he is. Now, this is a downline view. Here, here. Boy, you can't do that any better, huh? Huh? But then now, why'd you have to go all the way over there? And look at that. He's not making anywhere near as big a move here as he is here on the left. He's increased it. Got that ball a little bit in here. Look at, look at the toe go over. Watch. Let me get this line out of the way. Watch his toe go over. See? Boy, how I have such a hard time getting with you guys. Look at that club face is literally pointed down that way. Let's see if he jumps out of his pants here. Yep, he just got kicked right in the butt. Just a little bit. But his swing requires, and of course he has, a tremendous amount of talent in the rhythm. Maybe that's from dancing the salsa or something. The flamenco. But... Um, he has to really time. He's got to watch his tempo and his rhythm because, and he's good at it. Trust me. He's really good. Look, boom. Look at him throw that head over. Let's see where that ball went. Oh, oh. It went a little bit that way. Maybe threw it over a little too much. See, but here he's just got such a turn. That kind of humongous backswing was very popular back in the 50s. Bill Melhorn used to turn like that. He used to talk about pivoting that big. And I don't mind a pivot that big as much as where he puts the golf club. And unfortunately, this swing on the right is not the same as the swing on the left. But you can see this is plenty cross line. Plenty cross line. Look at his right knee here. Look at his right knee here and his hip here. I mean, he, he has increased. There's no doubt about it. He has increased his turn by comparison. Now, it might be 
as he's getting a little older, he's trying to reach back for a little extra to try and pick up any distance he's lost in the past. I don't know. I have no idea. See, if he just stopped right there, and boom, he might find out he doesn't hit the ball any, any, any shorter. Might even hit it longer because he doesn't have to wait on it. This is not the same backswing over here in the right course. I don't know how old this video is. It's still an overswing, no doubt about it. But look at, look at. See, then right here, let's put a line right by his head. Up, oh, stay back, stay back. Yeah, good boy. That's it. Stay back. Now, boom. I mean, he's just in a beautiful position right there. He gets to a great spot from a, a risky place. How else can I say it? So the question is, if he fixed that backswing and he put it in a less risky position, would he be more consistent? That's my question. And I don't know. I don't know all the stats of greens and regulation and all that other kind of stuff. I don't know. But would he be more consistent if he cut off a piece of that... Uh, that backswing, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, he's a talented guy, and you couldn't meet a nicer guy. Um, same thing with Gene. I mean, look at that. Look, that face is open. Watch. Boom. Over he goes. As he's getting kicked in the pants a little bit there. But that's what I would do with him. I would say, okay, here we go. Se acabó. Ya no más. <laughs> That's it. It's over. When the chest stops, the arms stop. When the chest stops, the arms stop. The arms don't keep going after the chest has stopped. The boy, you talk about turning his shoulders. Now, it might be he was talking to or looking at Garcia, and Garcia gets his shoulders. If you look at him over here, Hey, Garcia. There you go. Paisano. See? Look at him. He's got those shoulders all over there. But I don't see that as risky because he's not so turned in the lower body. See? Garcia's more flat-footed on the left foot. See? So now he makes this... Huge movement. I mean, that's a perfect place right there. You know, so his argument to me might be, well, what's the difference? As long as I get to the right place at impact, what's the difference? And he might be right. Okay? He might be right. But I would say you'd have to look at your rounds and say, okay, how many of your tee shots are not where you want them to be? How many of your iron shots of the green are not where you'd like for them to be? So then something's going on that that prohibits you from getting the golf club where you want it an impact. Is it that you're making it harder to do it and you think just because you want to make a bigger backswing and possibly hit it further, is it worth it? Gabish, hmm? Entendez? But anyway, there's Miguel Jimenez, Sergio Garcia, and I'm very, very certain that Jimenez will be winning plenty of golf tournaments on the senior tour. So he finished second this time. We know what that feels like. Gene finished second two years ago when I first met him. So look at this. Ooh, wait a minute. We got something here. Hold on. Just saw something here. Right. Of course, we don't know what the camera angles, but seeing that face shut down like it is, I think that ball's left of what he was hoping. Maybe, maybe not. Camera angles can fool you, but that head is definitely shutting down pretty quick. But if you go out to the senior door, you see Miguel Jimenez wave at him because he's the nicest guy in the world and he's always happy to wave back and, uh, and say hello to people. So I can't say anything nicer about this guy than that and I still like his shoes see that those are real shoes <laughs>